King of Avalon update 9.8 brought with it the Lionheart Dragon Emblems, giving you a boost of minimum 700%. But I've still got a lot of players asking me regularly, are statistics that important? Where do I see mine? How do I improve them? Well, that's what this mini-series is all about. I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about statistics, starting with today's episode. Are they that important? What difference does it make? And where can I see mine? Welcome to Learning Corner. Hey guys, Poke Mountain here from twitch.tv slash Mountain, bringing you an episode of Learning Corner. In this mini-series, we're going to be discussing statistics, how important they are, and what it actually means to the game, starting with today's episode all about are they that important, what sort of difference does it make, and where can I see mine? In a very brief nutshell, the answer is yes, statistics make a huge importance to the game. It can literally mean the difference between winning a battle or losing it. I'm going to show you exactly how that works and how to work yours out and see what it's worth. So the first thing we, we actually need to do here is we need to see what are our current statistics. Now I'm going to be switching over to my research and farming gear just so that it's easier for me to show you the difference that statistics makes straight off the bat. The easiest way to do that is to go into Royal Arena if it's open. If it's not open, you can always do this by rallying a barbarian camp, for example or attacking, uh, attacking a tagless uh, player that no longer plays the game. If castle's sitting there, you can attack it and see your report from there. But what you do is you're going to go into a battle, and you're going to march off like, like you would normally, and you're going to scroll down a little bit, and you're going to start looking at this information I'm showing you here. Starting off with troops lost. Now, in this particular case, I lost 230,000 troops. My opponent lost 1,300 troops. And if you scroll down further, you'll see the difference. His statistics versus mine, all my statistics are lower than his. Starting off with infantry attack, for example, I've got 3,359. He's got 4,778. Is that the only reason why we lost that many troops? No, it's not. But it is a huge factor to it. In this particular case, this player is stronghold level 38 so he's going to have a much higher tier troop formation than i have but the statistics still make a difference let's put that theory to test by switching over now to our battle equipment and doing the same player with the same march yet again once again we have been defeated as i said he is a higher stronghold and he does have better tier troops but let's have a look at the difference I lost 230,000 troops still, but this time he lost 17,900 troops. 17,900 troops. And I've, uh, I happen to have uh, Brutus on my team. So he's got the 20% chance to do the extra damage. Let's have a look. There we go. Now all of a sudden I've done 20,000 kills. That's 10 times more than I was doing when I didn't have my fighting equipment on. So that shows you just how big a difference statistics make. But let's put that right down into the finer details. And to do that, I've actually created an Excel spreadsheet that is going to show you guys exactly how that works. Now, in this particular case, we don't need this first page. This is for something totally different, which will be in another Learning, uh, learning Corner episode. But the first thing we want to do in, in this scenario is to check how many troops in our march. So we're going to say, just to be rounded off, we're going to say 230,000 troops. And we're going to go to our statistics test page. Now, here's where we're going to see the actual breakdown of the information. The way I've put it together here is a simple Excel spreadsheet that shows me my critical march, which is my three higher tier, infant, uh, three higher tier troops, as well as my three lower tier troops. This format, this Excel document I've created automatically breaks down my troops according to my setup that I've got here. So don't worry too much about that, but this just shows you how many troops of each I've got. I've also put in the attack stat and the defensive stat of each of my troops, which if you want to see for yourself is quite simple. Just go through to the training center, click train. 
select whichever troop it is that you want to have a look at and click the eye in the corner just next to the troop. If you look up over there, you'll see the eye in the top corner. So if I click there, I can see health is 11, attack is 4, defense is 12, and speed is 8. It also shows you your power, your load, your upkeep cost, and things like that. So once we've got that information, we've got our number of troops, we've got our attack values and our defensive values, we're then going to put in our statistics. And all we're really looking for in this particular case, just to show you how big of a difference it makes, is your attack percentages as well as your defense percentages. Now, to see that, once again, you're going to go back to your report or your battle arena, where you will once again go into it, do your battle, or just pull up your report, have a look there, scroll down, and you will see there on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, left-hand side is my statistics, Right hand side is my opponents. It shows you infantry attack, infantry defense, infantry health, cavalry attack, cavalry defense, cavalry health, bowman attack, bowman defense, bowman health, siege attack, siege defense, and siege health. Now, those are all the statistics that you're looking for, or specifically the attack and defensive values that are going into the Excel spreadsheets so that you can see the output. All right, so let's have a quick look here. Now, I've put in my percentages, as you can see. 4,889 for infantry attack, 4,324 for cavalry, I'm just rounding them off, 4,903 for bowmen, those are all attack, defense, 4,800, 4,900, and 5,200. Now this spreadsheet is designed so that it will automatically calculate for you the difference between no statistics and with statistics. So we're going to take this first line here for example. When it comes to the high infantry, in this particular case, I've got 69,000 infantry troops, each one with an attack value of 5 and a defense value of 14. If I look at the total value, meaning how much attack does 69,000 troops have, the attack value of 69,000 times 5 is 345,000. So that is their attack value. So when those troops attack, that's how much they attack. But now if I put into the factor of 4,889 boost from my equipment and that, my new boosted total is 16,867,050. 16,000,000 compared to 345,000. That is an astronomical difference. Now if we do the same thing for our defense, 14 defensive value at 69,000 troops, means that they've got a total defense of 966,000. Put into that their defensive boost, and you get a balanced total or a boosted total of 47 million defensive value. Now, that is a huge difference. It's an astronomical difference. The difference there is 46 million just because of boost. And the difference in the attack is 16 million just because of the boost. Now, if we take this section here, this fighter number two, I've just put in some basic statistics of somebody who hasn't really worked up on their statistics at all, and they've got just basic levels. You can see here a 716% increase to the same number of troops with the same attack value, meaning they're the exact same tier of troops, both the same size march. This march is only dealing 2,470,000 attack versus my defensive value of 47 million and then his defensive value which is 7 million 400,000 against my attack value of 16 million of course i'm going to destroy him i'm going to completely destroy him simply because of the difference between statistics statistics is a huge huge factor to this game Let's have a look here quickly, and we're going to put my same statistic value here on the attack, the, well, yeah, the attack of each of the different levels, of each of the different types of troops, sorry, as well as the defensive value of each of those troops. And we're going to change this to include the dragon emblems which is an extra 4800 percent boost 4800 percent boost so that makes that 9600 that makes that what i said it was 4800 didn't i so that's 9000 we'll just round it off to 9100 make it simple you know 9100 
Uh, then here we're going to have four, eight, nine thousand five hundred roughly. Oh, no, not nine hundred, nine thousand five hundred. Okay. We're going. We'll leave the defense as it is for now, just so I can show you the difference. So now, the same number of troops, the same power against my existing troops. This doesn't count into it what the heroes and that sort of thing do. This is just the troops alone. The attack boosted attack total now of these new troops with the Lionheart emblems is 33 million power versus my 47 million defense. Just from emblems alone. The astronomical jump from 16 million to 33 million. It's double. Doubled. There's no two ways about it. Stats make the hugest difference in this game compared to anything else. Heroes on top of that make a difference. On top of that, you've got your weapons and everything, which all boosts into your statistics. Um, you've got other things like your dragon itself. Your dragon does more damage. And when you're on a march with your dragon compared to without, it's a 1,000% uh, difference between your troops sort of thing or, or more. And... Uh, it just adds to everything as you're going along. So yes, statistics are hugely, hu hugely important. Now the rest of this series, we're going to be going over things like the dragon emblems, going over weapons, going over heroes, and all things related to statistics, including the gems and that. How to improve your statistics and get the best possible value that you can out of this game for what your budget range is. If you're looking forward to that, if you're interested in King of Avalon, please, and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so that you can know each time one of these episodes come out. Your question for the day is quite simply, your statistics, are they where you want them to be? Do you now see the difference between lower statistics and higher statistics? What a huge difference it really makes to the game. And will you be working on yours? Until the next time, guys, be good, be well, and be safe. Bye.